Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking you inside the Dollar Tree with me. I am hoping to find something Valentine's Day related, maybe something spring related, I'm not sure, but let's just go on inside and see what we can find. So the Dollar Tree had a ton of Valentine's Day decor. If my kids were a little younger, I would be thrilled to make up like a super cute basket for their teacher. Um, if I had girls, this would be the perfect place to buy like a bunch of cute little hearts, maybe decorate their bedroom. But I've never really been one to decorate my house for Valentine's Day. I do have a wreath on my door and that's pretty much about it. I'm not into putting like really bright pinks and reds in my house. Um, they did have a bunch of garden decor as well. And they had um, some cute mugs and little stuffed animals. And I might end up doing like a cute little basket for my boys, but um, I'm not sure because I just don't know. But they had these super cute candle holders. I really loved these like farmhouse style candle holders. They look kind of like the mason jars. I was very surprised to see these battery operated candles. I didn't get any of them, but if any of you have ever gotten them at the Dollar Tree, please let me know. I would definitely go back and get them because a dollar is such a steal. They had so many cute um, vases. There was just so many ideas. I was a little overwhelmed with everything, um, but I did end up purchasing a few things and I will show you what I bought and I will show you what I did with what I bought. So I ended up purchasing four little bundles of these silk flowers. I believe these ones are like a cherry blossom or an apple blossom. I also got these lavender ones. I don't know if it's like a lavender or some type of hyacinth or maybe like a lilac bush or something. I don't know, but I got those two um, different types of flowers. And then I got this flower and garden pot. It's like a galvanized little tin, and I'm gonna make a little craft with that here in a second. I also picked up these super cute um, heart-shaped boxes of chocolate, and I'm probably gonna make my boys like a little gift basket and then just throw those in there. I also got some Spanish moss. I got two bags of this stuff and I love crafting with this. It hides like stuff inside pots and I will show you a little bit later how I use that in my crafting project. And I also got these um, two unscented candles and I am going to put them inside these really pretty pink candle holders. And I'm glad that I found the separate little candles to stick in there because I don't like when the wax melts and it gets all stuck inside there and you can't really reuse the candle holder. So I purchased those. I also found these um, pretty paper doilies and I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use these in or how I'm gonna use these, but I'm sure I will find something. And of course I had to pick up this Valentine's Day card. I'll probably give it to my husband and I also got some um, tissue paper and I thought it was really cute with the hearts and the X and the O's all over it. And then I also got a gift bag. And I just wanna be clear that that um, German Shepherd Valentine's Day card will be from the dog, not from me. I will get him a separate more mushy one. But yeah, that is everything that I purchased and I'm gonna show you what I made. So I'm gonna show you how I made like a little potted flower arrangement. Um, I had a previous little piece of floral foam, so I just kind of stuck that down there in the bottom and I didn't hot glue it. You can to make sure it stays. This one kind of stuck in there pretty well. I'm gonna start by separating the stems and then I will just um, use wire cutters to 
clip them apart and um, I'm gonna take this moss and I will stick that down first and then I will start making the arrangement. So here's the finished product and this is what it looks like well for now I let it sit for like a day and I did not like it it was really bothering me I was gonna add a bunch of greenery in there to kind of fill in those empty spaces but instead of doing that I just kind of cut them down a little bit shorter as you can see here and I'm very happy with how it looks now and it was super inexpensive to do and it is a perfect spring craft So I was at Target today and I did pick up this cute little sign and it says PS I love you and I found it in the Target dollar spot and it was just a dollar so I thought it would look pretty cute sitting up here on my um, mantle and then right here you can see one of the candles that I had purchased from the Dollar Tree and here's what it looks like I have it sitting on the mantle as well. So those are my finds from the Dollar Tree and one from the Target Dollar Spot. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a few ideas. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. See you in the next one. Bye.